Hello everybody, I hope everybody's doing great today. I appreciate those of you watching this video. And today we're talking about the Atypical Family, episode seven and eight. For those of you who don't know what it's about, kind of jumping into this late. Atypical Family is about a family who has superpowers, but they lost their superpowers. And you know, they're recently trying to get them. They recently get them back with a woman named Dahi, Dahe, whatever. When the female lead comes into their lives, uh, she's kind of like a, uh, a, a fraudster. She's a con artist type of person. She enters her lives and her superpowers start to come back slowly. Now, if you think this is a superhero movie, this is not a superhero movie. They don't go out there fighting crime and stuff like that. They just have these own powers to kind of keep to themselves type of people. Even though the male lead, he wants to be like a super, he wants to be like a superhero. Uh, he wants to go back and save people's lives. His ability is to go back to the past. Unfortunately for him, he can't touch anybody. Uh, from the past except for a female lead which is kind of confusing so episode seven and eight at the end of this will have spoilers by the way uh and in the discussion so if you've seen these episodes hey leave some comments below let me know what you feel what you think about this show and what are the last four episodes are going to be about so episode seven we see the aftermath of what happened after um our female lead tells everybody that she is a con artist that she was trying to steal their money and stuff like that. She admits it there at the wedding. And then kind of see the events that happens after this. Um, you know, and so at first, our male lead, you know, he's kind of like, I'm going to break up. Don't want anything to do with her. But by the end of the episode, you know, they get a reconciled uh, between them. Uh, what I really did enjoy about episode seven was the relationship between Ina, Ina the daughter of the male lead and the female lead uh said they he they hot see this is why i don't like pronouncing names uh but the female lead you know we got that relationship it's a great relationship it's really been like the last few episodes really been building to be a special relationship like a very mother daughter type relationship uh the ina the daughter here like the only person she's really comfortable in her life right now is the female lead it's very clear she even said so uh when she loses her glasses you know she's the only person she really think can look in the eye and not be scared of what the, she might think uh so it just tells you how nice of a person the female lead is her character is uh so i really like how that relationship is developing i'm sure it will develop even more into the future uh in episode eight makes me um, think that maybe Ina and the uh, un uncle, like the guy who's for the Khan family, uh, I'm just going to call him the Khan family there, uh, who's been following her around. Uh, I think there might be some a potential of some kind of bonding uh, between those two, uh, which kind of plays to the part where in episode eight, we see that the the mother of the Khan family, she's taking a different strategy. It's like, okay, if you won't marry into the family, we're just going to come attached to them by being like their best friends. And that way, and that's how we're going to uh, take their money type of thing. So we got Nancy, uh, is it Nancy or Grace? Grace uh, befriending the sister who can fly, trying to be her best friend, you know, even making jokes like, you know, if I'm able to get your uh, fiance back with you, will you give me 50% of the buildings, stuff like that. So she's uh, trying to pretend to be her friend. The question is going to be by the end of the series, if the uncle, you know, the uncle, and uh grace if they're actually gonna still pretend to be like buddy buddy with them or if that friendships that they're developing with the people that they're supposed to be following gonna actually evolve into like a real friendship um which in a way if it does and they do eventually become a great family together um you know in a way that the con artist mom kind of got her way uh but at least it will be like a true friendship and not them just kind of trying to steal their money and take it. Um, so we'll see how that relationship uh, goes. Um, we see that, you know, our female lead, she's really is doing this stuff against her will when she failed and when she, uh, the consequences of her telling everybody what she was actually doing, you know, she gets locked in a room, kind of like a jail type of thing uh, from the con mom here. Uh, but I'd really like um, the, how this series as well is written it's very well written i like how they use the time travel going back to the past um thought that is very well done 
the grandma, you know, she, um, even though she's all the good family, you know, you tell that she does have her flaws. I like how every character kind of has their flaws. Even the grandpa, it's kind of, um, the question is, does he, is he really having an affair or not? He's just friends. I think I always thought his relationship with that, when I was looking at it on episode eight, you know, when he get caught, uh, talking to that girl in the, in the, uh, bar, the dance club or whatever, dance club for older people. Um, it was more like a, for him, it was more like a friendship with that lady. It seemed like she was more romantic type. And, um, I've read somewhere, you know, some people think that she was actually another con person. I don't think she was really con. It looks like she was really trying to escape, uh, her husband, like, cause her husband doesn't really seem like a good guy. Um, but we'll see, you know, what was, if there's another story to that. Episodes 9 and 10. Episodes 9 looks like the grandma is not going to be very uh, happy with her husband. Is that going to be uh, the end of their relationship? Or are they going to have to reconcile? I always kind of liked the grandpa. He was always like the happy-go-lucky type of dude. But I was going to see his feelings about, you know, always kind of being... He always was kind of being bullied by the grandma. Stuff like that. Uh, moving forward to the last four episodes. Like, this is a great series if you haven't seen any of these episodes it's a must watch uh moving forward last four i think we'll get to see more of this con family trying to be befriend our hero family uh and then um um we'll see uh how that goes we're gonna befriend them and i think at the end i'm gonna predict here at the end of episode 12 they will be kind of like a, a large family type of thing everybody's gonna get along especially uh grace and the female lead i think they will uh really like bond with the hero family i'm not so sure about the the con mom she'll probably get put in jail for something and maybe the uncle he'll might become like the bodyguard or something like that uh, uh for the whole family uh but i think moving forward i can see grace and the female lead having a happy ending uh the con mom probably going to jail and then the uncle mm, he's borderline right now but i do really like the relationships like the sister and grace i like that relationship they have that friendship uh, i'm not gonna ship them or anything like that but i think they'd be like a good good friends um and maybe they'll become models together or something and then you know the Ina and the female lead the mother daughter connection there uh really like that and the connection between the two the male lead and female lead that whole relationship is going to be well. I don't think the male lead is going to die. We see at the end of episode eight where the grandma gets the full vision of the future. You see the building collapsing on him, but you know, we know that nothing from the past can touch him unless something changes, which they kind of let that door open as a possibility that uh, his powers can morph and evolve, but, I don't, but we'll see what happens there. Um, and I guess before I end, I kind of feel like the writers kind of re reneged on us there between episodes, uh, six and seven and I kind of forgot where they were going. Cause it kind of seemed like in episode uh, six that old grandma knew the whole future for like plan from the, for the marriage and on forward. Uh, then it kind of like, then at episode seven is kind of like, that wasn't what they were trying to tell us. Uh, but anyways, enjoying this, check it out, uh, leave your comments. What do you guys think about this show? Uh, have a great day until next time. Bye.